I just went for a haircut and uh, you know, it's looking good, but I just realized that that's probably my last haircut before I get my second hair transplant. That's wild. Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Amit and in today's video we're going to be talking about my 11th month update of the hair transplant that I got from Turkey. First off, apologies for the late update. It has been a pretty busy period for me. I've been running around quite a bit. Uh, I'm actually currently not even in London. I am in India and I'm here for work for a couple of weeks. So you'll probably be seeing a lot more content with me in this hotel room. Now, for those who are new and have just stumbled upon this video, a brief introduction is that I got a hair transplant about 11 months ago from Istanbul, Turkey. I got an FUE hair transplant from Vera Clinic and I got 6,100 grafts extracted from my donor area and placed onto my hairline and mid scalp. I've been posting my entire journey of my hair transplant from the beginning up until this month. I usually post monthly updates, try to give you guys some sort of insight of what the process is from the beginning up until how it's supposed to be finished. And I also try to provide some tips along the way about a hair transplant that can help out someone who is looking to get a hair transplant or someone who has just gotten one. If any of these type of videos are of interest to you or provide you some value, do consider liking and subscribing to these videos. I'm nearly at 2000 subs. That's awesome. I didn't expect to be here after my hair transplant, but here we are. So it's all thanks to you guys. Join the family if you haven't already subscribed. And also, as I announced in my last month's update, I am planning to get a second hair transplant very soon. And I'm going to be posting all about that all over again and basically documenting the start of my journey of the second hair transplant up until it's completely finished and I get a full head of hair. All right, so let's jump right into this update. Now, there's not that much to update you guys on, to be honest, from the 9th and 10th month. The 11th month is kind of still looking about the same to me, but I do see a little bit more thickness compared to the last month. And again, it's it's a process. It's not gonna look drastically different around the nine to 12 months, but I feel like the, the growing cycle is pretty much at its peak at this point. I did wanna do something a little different this time around in my video updates. I usually go through my 360 view of my entire head, which I'll still do. I do a close up of my hairline and my mid scalp, which I'll also still do. But this time I wanna show you guys a little more of the things that probably is not said as often in my videos. And that is what you have to expect out of your hair transplant. I'll get to more of that later on in the later segment of this video. But for now, let's jump into the 360 view of the hairline, the mid scalp, the donut area, and as well as the crown. All right, so this time I wanted to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of my hair before and after a haircut. I trimmed the top, as you can see here, and got my sides and back sloped up with a 1.5 guard. Although the lighting conditions are slightly different, you can still see the main differences in the donut areas. The back is as it's always been, empty, but soon it won't be. But even at a 1.5 guard haircut, you still can't really see any sort of scarring as shown here. All right, now let's take a look at a close-up of the hairline and the mid scalp. All right, so you can see that I am brushing my hair through my hairline and you can see how strong the hairs are as I pull them. They're pretty locked in onto my scalp and I personally think the hairline looks great. I'm very happy and satisfied with it. The mid scalp as well is looking pretty good. Overall, the hair is actually much thicker up in the mid scalp as well. I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out. All right, this is a section where everyone apparently loves all my video because I see a lot of engagement during this time. The monthly progression of the top of my head from month one up until month 11. Month one to three is where the ugly duckling phase started to begin. There's a lot of shedding and slow hair growth, but we all had to go through it. Month four to six is where I saw some hope of with the hairs on my head starting to sprout. Still not the coverage I wanted, but it was slowly growing. This is also when I started using fibers to add density. Month seven to eight is where I could start styling my hair properly with hair care products and getting better haircuts. The density also increased quite a bit here. Month nine to 10, the hair growth really went up exponentially and I felt like I had a full head of hair for my hairline and my mid scalp. Finally, month 11, there hasn't been too much change, but there's definitely been more coverage up on my mid scalp. So to be honest with you, my aftercare has, has pretty much been the same as last month. So I'm not gonna bore you too much into that, but for those that are new, I'll just go through a brief summary of it. The first thing I'd use is my minoxidil, minoxidil, 
my minoxidil based formula, which is called Groplex. I've been using it for the past couple months now. It seems to be working a little bit on the crown for me. I've been trying it out for the past couple months now. I see small growth on my crown, but nothing so substantial, but it is something that will definitely help. I've also started taking 0.5 mg of finasteride. I've been taking 1.25 mg throughout this entire year, but I decided to change it up a little bit. No issues so far. My hair is still there. I don't see that much of a change by decreasing the dosage amount. I'm also still taking my vitamins, which is my biotin, my fish oil, my B6s, my B12s, and a little bit of collagen as well. Um, I take these things every morning, and these are just things that I've grown into a routine of. They still help for hair growth as well as your own physical well being. Also, back to my fibers, I'm still using fibers on my head right now. I use it at the back of my head, mainly because I still have that empty bald spot at the back, but I eliminate it completely from the front of my head. Like right now, I don't even have anything going on, but my hair looks perfectly fine and perfectly normal, even from a distance or even close up. You cannot tell that I've had a hair transplant or you can't even tell I'm thinning hair. So it's, uh, it's, it's really rejuvenating for me to not be able to use this many fibers again. But again, if you're interested, links are in the description. Check them out if you like. Okay, so very quickly, I wanted to talk about, despite everyone thinking that, sure, my, my hair looks great right now, but there are times where I still look in the mirror and kind of wish that, oh, maybe I could have had it a little more thicker, or is this the final result that I'm actually looking for? The reality of it is that I think going into any type of hair transplants, you have to set your expectations pretty low because you most likely will not get the desired look that you want in one sitting. At least from what I've seen online, the amount of research I've done for myself personally, I realized that unless you had a lot of hair at the beginning to start off with, you're not going to get the full thick density that you're actually looking for. Now for me, again, from my perspective, the way I'm sitting as it is, look at the camera, my hair looks fine. I have no complaints. It looks thick from the front, but you know, if you look closer inside, it is a little bit um, thin. But again, who's gonna look at me at the top of my head and point out, hey, why is your hair so thin? No one's gonna do that. And honestly, I'm at a point where I can live with this. But the fact that I'm going for a second hair transplant, it's mainly because I wanna get that crown done because that is a big empty patch. If I got even a sliver amount of hair back onto that growing, I would be very well satisfied. I'm not looking for the perfect results of perfect hair and perfect density, the perfect hairline. I'm not all about that. And I think that's because I came from somewhere where I had nothing and now I have something and I can't be more grateful for that. So my advice to anyone who is looking to get a hair transplant and if you're willing to put the work in by taking all your medical therapy, your finasterides, minoxidils, even after the fact, you are doing the best you can to achieve the results that you desire. As long as you stick to your routine and as long as you try your best, I think that goes a long way as it is. Because again, if you've, if you've had nothing and you have something, it's a big deal as it is. Okay, well, I think that's the end of my 11 month update for this month of my first hair transplant. I have one more final update to give you, which is the one year review, which I'm really excited about because I have a couple things that I'm gonna jumble up together and present to you. I do have a couple of videos planned now that I have a little more time, but more importantly, I am going to get my second hair transplant in about a month. I'm super excited and I can't wait to bring you guys along with me on that journey. So do consider liking these videos, subscribing to the channel if you haven't already because I have a lot more content coming up and hopefully it's of interest to you. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.